Hi, my name is Bill McPhee. I'm the CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Today's question is about uh, catatonic uh, schizophrenia. Basically, the question was, can schizophrenia make you slow? Well, actually, there is a thing called catatonic schizophrenia, where basically your mobility shuts down and it even affects you so you can't speak. Uh, some people with catatonic schizophrenia, they can't speak, and they're very in slow motion. Now, this will usually go away as time progresses uh, and treatment is, is made. In fact, when people are catatonic, um, they do get help. They are admitted and they are kept in hospital for very lengthy times because they are very, very ill. Now, as well... Other medications, medications can make you slow as well, or zombie-like. I can remember when I was uh, first diagnosed in 1987, and I was on the ward, I was on the psychiatric unit, and I was given a medication. And this medication made me so zombie-like, so slow motion. I can remember being out on the uh, hospital grounds, and everything seemed so speeded up. All the cars were going by, and it just seemed like they were going so fast. In fact, I said to myself, I said, Bill, you're probably never going to drive again because everything is going so fast. I can remember being at my um, my brother's uh, in-laws, and I was painting, and I was painting uh, all day, and I only did about four square feet because I was such in slow motion or so slow. So does schizophrenia make you slow? Uh, and the, the answer is yes, um, with certain medications you can become very zombie-like. But today there are better medications. The reason that you were zombie-like is because those medications were in the tranquilizing field and they're tranquilizers that would slow you down. However, today most atypical medications are not in the tranquilizing family, so a lot of those uh, slowness uh, aspects of schizophrenia or the slowing down of your metabolism isn't so much uh, uh, an issue today. So thank you and I hope that uh, answered your question. And uh, basically if you have a question for me, just email me at bmcfee at magpiemags.com. Thank you and thank you for listening to this video blog and have a great day.